Hey guys, it's Rob, and I just want to show you how to bind with this uh, DSMX module that I got from uh, Ivan C on RC Groups. And it is uh, DSMX compatible and also DSM2 compatible. You can set that up in the Tyrannus menu also. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just bind it to one of these AR8000 receivers. Firstly in DSMX mode and then in DSM2 mode and you can see the difference. So uh, firstly how to set it up. You'll see I've turned off the internal RF module. And the external RF module I've set to DSM2 and then DSMX. And uh, I've just set receiver number one. Now, if we scroll down to the bind, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press that. But before I do, just have a look at the light on the back of the unit. Because there's no actual bind button like you get with a normal spectrum radio. But when I press that enter button, you'll see... So the light goes off and then it goes into bind. So it's basically just uh, putting the module into the bind mode. So it's looking for a receiver now. Anyway, there's no receiver turned on. So let me just turn that off. I'll recycle. And what we'll do is we'll just power up the receiver. Now I've got a bind plug in, which you can see. And the receiver is in uh, bind mode now, which is uh, indicated by that rapid flashing. So what we'll do first is we'll bind in DSMX mode. I'll see if I can get the whole thing in, in frame. We'll just hit the bind function again. Okay, you can see the lights have gone steady. So we'll need to now take it out of bind mode. What I'm gonna do is just power down the receiver. I'm just trying to do this with two hands, so bear with me. Okay, I've taken the bind plug out. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll turn on the receiver. And you'll see you've got two steady lights there. Now, if I move that over on, the servo is working accordingly. Now, when you're in DSMX mode, you do not have brownout indication with the orange lights. So basically, if I recycle the power off and on, you get a steady light each time. And you'll see it recovers quite quickly. So power off, power on now and it comes on and each time um, it just goes to a steady orange light. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just power off. Just bear with me while I reinsert this bind plug. Okay, the bind plug's back in and what we're gonna do now, just for the purpose of the video, is just try binding in DSM2 mode. So there we go, we've set it to force itself to DSM2 mode. And let's go back down to bind. We'll need to turn on the receiver first. It's back in bind mode as indicated by the flashing. And now we'll hit bind. See if we can get the whole thing in video again. Just hitting the enter button. Takes a little bit longer in DCM2 mode, but that looks like it's bound now. So we just hit enter. Take it out of that mode. We need to turn off the receiver, remove the bind plug, turn on the receiver. Now what you might notice there is a flashing orange light. That's what is uh, called brownout detection. And that also confirms that you are in fact bound in DSM2 mode because if you recall in DSMX mode, you didn't get that. So basically if we turn off the receiver, let's One turn minute. off the radio. Let's turn on the radio again. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Blade MCPX. Normal. Yeah. Throttle active. Low battery. Battery critical. Okay, and we turn on the receiver. You're going to get the steady orange light. Okay, so that's all working fine. Now, if we do have a power cycle on the receiver without power cycling the transmitter, that's where you see the, the brownout detection. So power on and off. That's showing that the receiver has detected the power has been gone or, or dropped below a certain voltage and come back on. So that's uh, that's what uh, we call the brownout. As I said, you only get that in DSM2. It's not available in DSMX, and it's also the um, the real really the only indicator you're going to have that we are actually bound in DSM2 mode. So obviously we want DSMX. It's a newer and better protocol. So I'll just put that back to DSMX and rebind and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.